Hey guys, it's Matt. I am back after a long bout of uh, bronchitis and strep throat, all this other crazy stuff, so I couldn't even talk for like a couple of weeks, really. Um, I still am coughing, but anyway, that was just a cough right there. I wanted to go ahead and show you what's on my USB stick uh, currently, as of uh, 2016. So I have a like a 16 gig stick and not that much on it really. I have 360 total security. It's a nice free antivirus that's pretty easy for uh, users who um, don't really require like a lot of intervention. So you kind of install it. It features like three or four different engines that you can set up. Uh, different antivirus engines and uh, it does a pretty decent job. I'm not crazy that it's a Chinese company. I know that mm, anything coming out of China is controlled by the government. So, but what, whatever. I think it's probably the same thing here in the United States at this point. Uh, second thing I have is Adobe, Adobe Reader. Adobe Reader uh, DC, I think it is. Um, or it's 11, something like that. Uh, people, sometimes they'll need, uh, you know, a PDF reader and they don't have one. So that's what's nice to have on my stick. The next one is probably the most used one out there right now for me. That's ADW Cleaner. It does a fantastic job at removing uh, adware or potentially unwanted programs, pups. Uh, it's awesome. Um, I will try to go ahead and put together a, uh, yeah, I'll put it on my blog at remove-malware.com, uh, a series of links where you can download all this stuff. Auto runs is awesome for figuring out what is loading when your computer is loading. And you can turn it off just simply by unchecking it. It's really simple to use. And I did make a video about it. I've made a video about every one of these, I think. Except for Adobe Reader, obviously. Blitzblank allows you to erase, or I'm sorry, delete uh, and erase locked files. Good for uh, deleting uh, malware that you know his malware and nothing will get rid of it or in my case at work I used it for some printer drivers that just uh, they were making me mental and I just had to get rid of them and Blitzblank came through and just deleted these locked printer drivers so that I can install new fresh ones that actually worked sorry another cough there uh, next one obviously CC cleaner in this case it's CC setup 514 so CC Cleaner, um, Crap Cleaner, allows you to just remove all the junk on your computer really easily with a single click. Uh, I've made videos on that as well. You can search the channel for that. Chrome Setup. This one has saved my butt uh, in a lot of different ways. I will come to come over a, a, a person's house and they will have one browser and it's IE and it's corrupted. I'll go ahead and drop Chrome Setup on, get on there and do what I need to do. So in the end, uh, you know, I'm able to get on the internet, do whatever the hell I need to do and get their IE working if they want to use that again. Um, combo fix made many videos on this. Uh, it's just an all around awesome little cleaner. I mostly use it for windows seven. Uh, it cleans up a lot of different malware and fixes, fix, fixes, sorry, <laughs> a lot of settings. Uh, next one's kind of new to me. I've been using it recently. Uh, a lot at work now these days. Uh, MSI Soft Anti-Malware. It's just a pretty strong anti-malware. Uh, runs in real time if you pay for it or whatever. Uh, they give you a trial. Uh, it's, it's doing pretty well for me right now. Just another thing you can add on and, and check with. You know, You have your second, third, fourth opinion kind of thing. Uh, next is fix exec. So if your executables get messed up, these, this program will do it. So there's a 32 bit and a 64 bit version. So if you double click on an exe and it's just not going anywhere or it gives you some weird error, you might want to run fix exec. Junkware removal tool. I think this was bought by, uh, Malwarebytes recently. It, um, is an, probably my second most used tool right now. Uh, but actually third, I'd place malware bytes second. So JRT removes just a lot of junk software. Uh, it'll go ahead and create a restore point before it does it. It'll remove like uh, scheduled tasks that download crap. It does a lot, and I think it's only getting better. 
Uh, malware bytes, obviously, everyone knows what that is. That's just like, you know, the second most used thing I use. I use it every time, but um, I come in right away with ADW Cleaner, then follow up with MBAM. Uh, net adapter repair. This goes beyond malware. Um, it's mostly malware related, but it does go beyond malware. Um, so if a person is missing certain networking features or uh, malware has corrupted their networking stack or whatever you call it, this usually repairs it for me pretty quickly. Process Explorer. Um, I use this for one thing. Uh, when I come over a user's uh, a person's house and they have an SVC host running above normal, like around 10, uh, around 20, 30, 40, 50 percent. Process Explorer will usually help me narrow down what's really running underneath that SVC host, what process is usually sucking up all that uh, CPU. So that's what I use there. And I've made videos, I think, like on all of these, really. Not an adapter, no. Um, RC setup, I think that's Recuvera. Hang on. Yeah, Recuva, sorry. Recuva allows you to uh, recover lost documents, deleted documents uh, off USB sticks and hard drives. It's got like a 75%, in my opinion, success rate, which is awesome. Uh, let's see. I used it last week to recover a lady's, um, I think it was her bap daughter's baptism pictures or something like that it worked perfectly it got everything back so that was it's just an awesome appointment and a good feeling as well our kill uh from bleeping computer it uh it shuts down a lot of malware that's running um and then allows you to go ahead and use your tools easily td ss killer i still use this it does a decent job at looking for rootkits but i don't use it as much anymore Tweaking.com, Windows Repair, all in one zip. I use the hell out of this now. So if somebody brings me a computer and they're like, hey, it's just messed up, it's doing all this crazy stuff, I run this pretty much right off the bat. And I have not made a video on this. I probably should show you what I do when I use this uh, program. It, um, by itself, you know, it's kind of a one click fix in many ways. And uh, it's awesome. Unchecky. Unchecky allows you to prevent adware from being installed accidentally. I install this on every computer I work on, whether it's you know here at home or uh, at work, whatever. Unchecky is great for those kids and adults who just blow right through an installation and accept blindly accept anything being installed besides that application. So yeah. Unhide.exe, uh, I've had to use this about two or three times so far in my life. I've had some viruses in corporate settings, um, or worms, that have actually excelled at hiding all files. Um, and uh, this just unhides files in mass, uh, makes it really easy to do that. So I still keep that on my stick, just almost as a sign of respect, really. <laughs> so uh, next one, VLC player. People need VLC. A lot of people, a lot of clients need VLC when they it inevitably comes up. You know, they can't open up some video or I don't know something. So VLC is always on my stick. And then WinRAR uh, is a great uh, archiving utility that um, I just keep on my stick in case I come across some weird archive. So anyway, uh, that was a ten minute video or close. Uh, I will go ahead now that I have my voice back and make some more. Talk to you guys later.